What's up everyone, Filthy Card Breaks here. Today we have 2020 Archive Snapshots. This was an online exclusive product that Topps had on their website a week or two ago. I bought two boxes of it. They sold them for $25. Each box should come with 12 cards, including one autograph. So we'll go ahead and open these up and see how we did. Um, I was pretty excited. Uh, it has a small checklist. There's only about 50 base cards. And then there's also 50 different autograph subjects. But for a $25 product, I thought the autograph list was pretty strong. There's guys like uh, Mike Trout on there, Nolan Ryan, Ronald Acuna. Uh, so you definitely have the possibility to get, get a nice autograph. I do not know where in the pack the autograph is, so we'll just go through these and uh, see what we get. Starting off with a Hunter Harvey rookie card. Bo Bichette rookie card, very nice. The cards kind of have a glossy finish to them, uh, so they, they, feel, they feel pretty solid, but that bow is going up on a stand. And then uh, Randy Johnson. Here is a black and white snapshot. Another rookie, Mauricio Dubon. When I took a look at the checklist, there were a lot of rookie cards. As you can see, about half the cards so far have been rookies. There is Mike Trout. Can never complain about Trout. Tommy Edmond. Ed Cranepool for the Mets. There's an older player. And then our autograph is on card Luis Arise rookie card auto. Very cool. Then we got a black and white Jeff McNeil and a Jose Urquidy uh, on the back here who just pitched game two. I'm recording this on Wednesday. He just pitched game two for the Astros. Um, speaking of, of baseball, my Braves about gave me a heart attack. 13 inning playoff game, 0-0 until Freeman hit a walk-off single into center field. Great way to start the, the playoffs, though, for us Braves fans. Hopefully they can keep it going. We have not won a playoff series since uh, 2001, I believe. So pretty long drought, and now we just need one more. Uh, this one also has Hunter Harvey on the front. And when I looked at some of these other breaks online, I noticed that Topps had a collation issue with the product, and a lot of people were getting the same base card. So hopefully we don't run into that here. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't complain about a second Bo Bichette, but it'd be nice to get some, some different players. Hunter Harvey, Ed Cranepool, and another Glaber. And then a Willie Mays Blue. And that is hand numbered 42 out of 50. Check it out. Beautiful card. Mauricio Dubon, rookie. Tommy Edmond, and yeah, we are getting a lot of the same players. Uh, Otani, he's different. Jim Abbott, and is this going to be our, nope, or Quiddy. And ouch. Um, okay, so our auto, I don't have anything against Luis Arias, but I certainly didn't want uh, two of his autos out of the two boxes I bought. Uh, this one, oops, I'm throwing it. I'm not that unhappy. Um, neither one are numbered. And then our black and white was Oscar Mercado. And then we got a Jesus Lizard here, Jesus Lizardo. Um, so really neat product. Um, kind of wish I would have bought maybe a couple more uh, just to have a shot at, at one of the big autographs, either a rookie card or someone like Trout, Acuna, etc. cetera. We, we ended up with getting two Luis Rice and then... Uh, a really nice Bo Bichette rookie card and a hand numbered Willie Mays out of 50. So can't complain overall. It's a fun product for, for $25 a box. Um, definitely something that I'll look to pick up next year. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think of 2020 archive snapshot or if you plan on picking up any in the future. Thanks.